Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing pretty well. So, uh, last time, I, uh, I showed you the intro of Keishu, and, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'm sorry about my little freakout, and I fixed the whole microphone situation. So, uh, yeah, thank god that's fixed. Now you don't have to worry about not hearing me, even when I'm being quiet, so... Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Now, I kind of want to break down some easier songs here. Just so anyone who's out there can really enjoy this game. Just, you know, just the basics of all that. We're going to start out pretty slow, just so I can explain what's going on. If I had a camera, and I could do a little top-down view of my controller, that'd be great. But I don't have that, so we're going to have to deal without it. So here we go. Now, since this is a level 7, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, it doesn't change BPM, and I'm gonna go over, after the song's over, I'm gonna go over a little bit of what the uh, song is doing. So right now, I'm just doing hold notes. And what, and kind of what we're doing here is, when you're going into a song, Usually, you want to start off by playing the easier version, version of the song. Now, even if you're experienced, this has its bonuses, and here's why. Whenever you play the game, you're able to sit there, on the easier difficulties anyways, you're able to sit there and listen to the actual song, and hear where notes might be coming from on the higher difficulties. Sorry about that steam sound. I will change that later. And the whole microphone sensitivity issue should be fixed with this video. Now, obviously there aren't as many notes as the, uh... 14 that you saw in the last video, if anyone's even watched that video, I'm okay if you haven't. Um, there are much fewer notes. Now yes, I'm getting a much higher combo, but that's because the notes and the patterns are super easy for me. I almost messed up that combo. I kinda wanna get a full combo on this, that would be great. Now, you can obviously listen to the song and hear it as it's going. You can hear where the notes are coming from and where it's all going. Just a bunch of hold notes, some lasers, and I messed up the full combo. Look at me, I'm so cool. <laughs> I have a really bad habit of doing that. Oh my god, I would have almost, I could, I think I may, oh, I wouldn't have perfected it, but I would have gotten like an extra an extra 10,000 points, maybe, or maybe an extra 1,000, get that 99.3%. So, about the whole effectiveness, I didn't really explain that um, in the last video. I didn't explain it well. So, effectiveness. See the little 100% right next to the AAA, near sort of the bottom middle of the screen? That is effectiveness. Whenever you miss in the song, your effectiveness goes down, and you start at 0%, and you have to work your way up to at least 70%. As soon as you hit 70% effectiveness, it doesn't matter what score you got, it could be like an 83, 83 million or 8.3 million, it will still count. It will still count, and that'll be a clear score, just like I have a clear score here, because I had 100% effectiveness. 
obviously, I had a very high combo, and I only missed once. So, that should give you sort of an understanding a bit more about how this works. Now you may be wondering, well why does it start you at 0%? Because even if you go down back to 0%, it's not going to fail you. <sighs> so, let's see, uh, easier songs. Uh, that's a little fast. That one's a little crazy. Sure, let's go with a map. Let's get a little bit harder as we go, shall we? Now, if you saw anything of the last video, you understand. This game is pretty easy to follow, even if you're just a normal person who doesn't play a whole lot of video games. Oh my god, I failed that pattern so hard. Now, now, um, most songs can be broken up into separate patterns, just like what you saw in this. And a lot of patterns, especially during the chorus, obviously, are usually repeated. Now during the final chorus, where things get a little swapped up, obviously it's going to be relatively the same, but it's still going to be... it's still going to be a little bit more intense. Now, a lot of more pro players play Kenshi, do not play it like I do. I play it very strangely compared to them, and also very noobish, I guess you could say. Because I use two hands, whereas they would have only used one for that entire section. I'm using two hands right now, and a lot of you are like, well, that seems reasonable, right? Well, of course it is. For most people, it's reasonable. However, for the pros who are on much more difficult songs, uh, like the 14 that you saw me play last game, they, they usually only use one hand for most of And that's because the other hand has to be doing a lot of that stuff. And they'll have to swap off hands every once in a while because of the flow of the song. And every song has a different flow. Obviously the easier songs, you really don't need to follow flow, you just need to follow the actual notes. But when you get into more difficult songs, there is a very specific flow for each song. And each person and each person maps their songs differently. Just as this song was mapped by, let's see, it was affected by Masaka. It's right above the clear uh, section. It was affected by Masaka. Each person who does effects on songs, they have a different way of doing it. And it's all sort of just relevant. So let's move on to a bit harder. Let's start with, let's move up to Oxide here. Now, Oxide is a very consistent song. It has a very regular flow to it. Well, not. Some of you are already recognizing the flow. Now it goes in, it isn't going with those really fast notes, it's going with the bass notes. You hear it, right? And that's what you want to be looking for when you're playing a rhythm game. That's what you want to be looking for when you play most rhythm games. No, you don't look for that. That's fine. If you're just going to look at the modes, that's also fine. I usually just look at the modes. However, if I want to get any better at it, I need to play the song a lot and get very familiar with how 
have a sign of the place. And there are actually a couple pros out there whenever they're practicing a song to either full combo it or perfect it, then usually it's perfected because if you perfect it, then that's literally a perfect score. Like you don't you can't get any better than that. And there is somewhat a of a plateau in that sense to this game. However, there are always new songs to be mastered. Well, not anymore with this game. The uh unless there are new new songs. In which case, oh I can't wait to have some of them. Now I don't have all the songs that are mapped out for this game. So, I only have the uh, base input ones because I'm stupid and I don't want to actually look up how to uh, get new songs. And I don't want to waste my time. So, see how simple that was? Now, I know I say simple, and a lot of you are like, well, you weren't even talking about the song, you were just talking about the different stuff. I uh, mean, well, yeah, I know, but I was also trying to explain stuff to you. So, yeah. Alright. So, we're going to get a bit harder here, and, and you're going to see a lot of different patterns. And usually, when you listen to a song, not just the start screen, like where we are right now, it's usually good to hear the flow of the song before you go into it. Even if you're only playing on a lower difficulty, it doesn't matter. You should always try and get a feel for the song, know what you're getting yourself into when the chorus hits. So, let's go. Now, there are going to be stutters in patterns, and they're going to be there to eventually throw you off, much like this song is. Now, you may not be able to see the stubbornness in the pattern, but it shows up on the board. You should be hearing it in either the clips or the assist text. And see, this is the super easy part. Even though I messed up the combo for it, like it dumped me. Now, yes, for those of you K-Shoot aficionados out there, I am using um, Laser Assist, so hush, I'm still getting used to the game. And don't, for all of you who have been are out there who are consistently playing this game, or at least trying to. And you're like, dude, what are you doing? You should be doing this, this, and this. I know. I know there are things that I should be doing, and things that I shouldn't be doing that I consistently do. But even so, do I care? No, I'm trying to introduce this to people. Some of you are just looking around for people to go, Haha, you're new. Of course I am. I haven't been playing this game in a few months. Sorry, I'm sure. Oh, that's why I saved you, because I got a perfect 8 for current. I guess. Now, I'm going to sort of start making this, like, educational for the first couple of K-Shoot videos. Um, 
but let's go ahead and at the end of each educational video, let's go ahead and do a hard song, shall we? And it's not going to be a new hard song, or at least not for me. It's going to be a hard song focus. Now this is just going to be a practice song, just so you understand how, how fast some things can get. And by the way, in my opinion, this is possibly the easiest 14 that you'll ever play. played the song, I didn't know what happened either. Now see, for this, I have to transition hand areas, and I have to use my thumb on that one part where I had to hit both bumpers kind of like this. I had to use my thumb and transition over with my index finger into the uh, new bumper. Make sense? Maybe not. That's okay. song like 46 some odd times? Correction, 47 times. And it's because I like this song so much that I decided to play it so many times. But wait, where is it? Come on. Shut this. I actually kind of want to see that. So, here is one of my favorite songs to play, just because of the flow. I want to get used to the flow, because it's so nice. Again, I say that about a lot of these songs, but just hear me out, alright? Just hear me out. Yeah. 
I've played this in the last song. Well, in the last video, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I did, but I failed anyways. Did I do any better? No, I didn't. But I failed anyways, so I hate to say it guys, but that's going to be the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.